Now, let me go to this employees table here. Okay. So the employees table has this birth date. I like to calculate the age based on the birth date. And I like to calculate the years of service based on the hire date. Well, these are things that we can do in the Power Query. So I'm going to right click on the employees uh, table and I'll pick on edit. Now I'm going to scroll over and I see the birthday column. I'm going to click in the birthday column. You can tell it's a date and time because of this little calendar and the clock right here. And also by looking at the data, we can tell it's a date and time. So when the column has the calendar or the calendar and the clock, that means it's a date or a date and time field. The ABC here means it's a text field. The one, two, three next to employee ID means it's a number field. So those little icons will tell you what type of field that it is. Watch what we can do with the birth date and with really any kind of date field. So I'll click in the birth date column. I'll click on add column up at the top. All right, add column. And then there are some things I can do with the date. I'll pick in the word date there. These are all built right in. There's ways to break down the year, the month, the quarter, the week, and the day. So you should try some of those. Uh, they're really all built right in. But I see that the age is built right in as well. So I'll click on the age. Now it gives me the age, but it's the number of days. Sometimes I want that to be the number of days if this was an aging report. But this time I want that to be the number of years. So I'm going to right click on the word age. Then I'll pick in the word transform. And I'll pick on total years. Now it's the number of years. I'd like to round that down. So I'm going to right click where it says age. And I'll pick on the word transform. I'll pick on round. And then uh, you'll pick on round down. So within a couple clicks, I was able to generate the age based on the birth date. This is all built right into the Power Query. Let's try that again with the, um, the higher date. From the higher date here, I like to get the years of service. So we'll do something similar. I'm going to click in the Add Column menu. I'll click in the word Date. And I'll pick in the word Age again. Now, in this case, I want to rename that column. So I'm going to right click where it says age.1. I'll pick on rename. And I'll call that one years of service. Good. Now, right now, it's the number of days. So to get that to be the number of years, I'm going to right click on it. I'll pick on transform. And I'll pick on total years. And then I like to round that down again. So I'll right click where it says years of service, pick on transform, I'll pick on round, and then round it down. Good. All right, so you, you can see how these are built right in. Great ways to uh, manage dates. In that case, I got the age and the years of service pretty easily. Now let's see what else I can do with that birth date. I want to capture each person's birth month. And you're going to see this one's built right in. So I'm going to click on the birth date again. I'll pick in the add column menu. I'll pick in the word date here. And then these are all built right in. So I'll pick in the word month and I'll get the name of the month. And now if I scroll to the right, I do have a column that's called month name. I'm going to change that to say birth month. I'm going to just right click in that column and pick a rename and I'll type in birth month. So you can really see that the Power Query has lots of ways to clean up your data. And then notice how all those steps are accumulating over here with the applied steps. I'm going to go ahead and close that window. And I'm going to say keep. OK. And now the, the changes will apply here. If I scroll to the right, then we'll see the columns are just added in there the age, the years of service, and the birth month. I'm going to save my work. Now, later on, we'll do something with the new shippers table. Uh, let me go to the order details table. In this case, uh, I want to show you how to do a formula in the Power Query. 
So I'm going to right click on order details and I'll pick on edit. And now we're back to the Power Query window.